Hey, I'm Toby Ryan, and this is Apollo Cinematic Guitars. Of guitar library of about 22 gigabytes worth of sound. If you're looking for sample guitars, get ready for this one. Let's begin with a listen to the individual instruments section. There are eight multi-sampled instruments, meaning they recorded each note of the guitar here individually, giving a string character, three velocity layers, and five round robins. <laughs> Inside, there are 46 presets with a healthy dose of effects. We'll start with the guitar number one and its nice clean tone. Here's a guitar number two, bringing in a little drive. Between these two, I already know I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of this. Let's start adding in some effects to give it that cinematic feel. That's the basic thought process behind this type of cinematic sound, and depending on which guitar you choose determines the feeling behind the sound. For example, acoustic guitar is going to have a little bit different flavor when ran through these types of effects. Apollo is designed for the cinematic lonely drifter feel that fits so elegantly in this type of scene. The library includes the essential instruments to craft the sound you want to play, and then some special case instruments like harmonics, laid out like an actual fretboard. This runs in the latest version of Contact and also the free Contact player. If you don't already have that, I'll leave a link in the description below. I can tell a lot of thought and planning went into structuring these instruments for playability. I notice that especially when I'm in the middle of a project, load this up and get the sound I need quickly, staying in that moment of inspiration. getting lost along the way because each instrument and effect is laid out in an intuitive manner, making it easy to understand. Like these effects right here. Turn it on, find the one I want, boom, good to go. You'll see that theme reoccur throughout Apollo's interface. Other unique sounds include the sitar for an edgier, more worldly perspective. Then of course they give us the bass guitar for when we need those lower notes. all of those, that covers a wide range of emotions from calm and moody to more wild and aggressive. All flexible choices that complement what is happening on screen for film, TV, or video game. Really, it's designed for 
all genres or music production. Works well in pop, electronic, hip-hop, doesn't matter. It sounds awesome when I need the flavor of guitar. These effects are also great, but can I use my own effects on these instruments? Yes. That's why I started with the dry option to show the wild at heart you can start from scratch. So bring that third party effect or reverb along for the ride if that's your thing. Most of the time I don't because these effects have been carefully curated for these specific instruments. They're convenient, making it an easy workflow from the choices available. The team at Virtue Instruments take it even farther into the cinematic realm with pads, swells, ambient designer, and a phrase builder. Let's take a look at this phrase builder because they've made something really unique here. The idea is, in each section there are performed riffs, notes, and strums that you can mix and match to form your own phrase. Think of it like picking your own syllables, making up a word, and then forming a coherent sentence. That idea surprisingly works really well in this case of guitars to make a melodically unique performance. With 26 patches and multiple selections inside, you can easily customize a phrase and make it your own. It's also nice that they show the original key of the set to give you a starting point and to know which to use in your project. Now if you decide to change that, just tune them right here with the tune knob. A quick tip for tuning using semitones, follow a chromatic chart like this, and you'll see the direction you want to go, left or right. If it's in the key of G, up one is a G sharp, or down one number is an F sharp. Contact's tuning algorithm is actually quite good at this. There's a lot to mix and match in here, and a trick I like to use in this case is stacking instruments. Or more often, load the contact instruments on their own track when I'm writing. Then tune the sections as I need them, and build a phrase. Just because it says it's in a specific key doesn't mean it has to stay there. Break the rules with the power of Apollo and have it sound the way you want. On to the next favorite, Ambient Designer. This one is wild. Select from a list to combine various sounds and textures to build your own ambience. When starting with a blank canvas, I like to start with the ambient designer for sheer power of inspiration. There's so many musical ideas waiting for you in here since it's set up like a template, color-coded, named, and organized. I love that they do this because let's say you want to use the phrase builder instead for this specific phrase section. We can omit this one, load up another track, launch phrase builder, and boom, ready to go.
or if you want to play the notes yourself, reach for the guitar instrument. This whole library is integrated and incredibly well thought out. Speaking of features, this latch function right here is handy. Think of it as a multi-key holder in the sense that once switched on, tap the keys you want held, switch it off. Then trigger those notes simultaneously with just one key. It remembers and makes life easier. I appreciate helpful features like this so I don't have to be <laughs> Mr. Fantastic just to trigger a few keys that are slightly out of my reach. There are many different combinations and effects to design the right ambience. Next up, the pads. When I was looking into this, I saw a few comments saying the pads alone were worth it. And I have to agree. There are 70 to choose from with 88 preset patches, heavily affected and designed for sustained notes and chords. They transcend the sound of guitar and launch right into space. ever-expanding wall of sound. Some give off a vibe similar to the movie The Dark Knight, others sound uplifting like heaven, while some dive into the otherworldly. Each one has its own unique tonal personality. I really like the pads, and here's a fun fact I learned recently about it. These sounds are created by the same sound designers that work on the movies such as The Dark Knight, Inception, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and the list actually goes on. It's pretty cool knowing that the level of quality I'm using here is the same level of quality that they work with. Last but not least, here are these swells. and 29 patches, this baby weighs in at about 13 gigabytes. That's pretty much another library in itself. This one lets you choose between notes and also chords. Major on the left, minor on the right, with an extra octave range. All of these sounds are made, and they actually confirm this on their site, from the best guitars, amps, and signal chain available. Just from seeing their attention to detail, it absolutely shows, not only in the experience, but also in the quality of sound. This one is a personal favorite of mine, and if you're looking to expand your library, I highly, highly recommend it. If you're curious where to find this contact instrument and others like it, Big Fish Audio is the place to go. These developers are a beacon of awesome with every instrument that they make. As we come to a close, I appreciate all of you sticking around. 
I hope this video inspires you in your work. Thank you for watching and have fun with your sound. So I just went along with it. Wake me up, I'm eating this. And you were the one that got to me. And woke me up, now I believe.